good morning because um, right now it's morning here, I think, pretty much still. Um, welcome back to Calling Eve. Um, this week we will be talking about um, food a little bit. Um, I know that I said that this was going to be a weekly thing and last week there wasn't anything going on, but that's because I've had the flu and I'm still pretty fluish. But um, I'm kind of thinking if I wear some makeup, I um, maybe don't look as zombie-ish because this is not supposed to be a scary vlog. Uh, this week, what I've been doing? Oh, oh! Last time, I I did one, did this. I was do. I was on day two of the detox, which I would like to say was awesome. I loved it as always. Um, it was really good, and I lost four kilos in nine days. So, I'm happy. I mean, seriously. Right now, I am getting back to LCHF, which is awesome. Um, it's how I lost. 90 pounds and um, which would be like 45 kilos to everybody normal in the world everybody that doesn't live in crazy land I can say that because I'm half American um, so I thought that I would show you guys some of the stuff that I do uh, when I do on when I'm on LCHF I bought a little bag of stuff so I just spilled chia seeds anyway Whatever, I'll clean it up later. Right now I am indulging in my... See, I love this mug. I got it for my brother for Christmas. <laughs> it says, "Greatest, the world's greatest mom. I love that I get recognition, even though it's not from my actual children and I'm not actually his mom. Sam, you are the best. Love my coffee. Anyway, so what is different about my coffee this morning, though, is... Other than a tasting divine, as always, because I'm just awesome at making coffee, um, is that I don't have regular milk in it. I have bum, ba, da, bum, almond milk, the unsweetened version. Uh, what I the reason for this is with LCHF, which stands for low carb, high fat. What you basically want to do is switch out your energy source from your body running on carbohydrates to running on fat and a lot of people are really really scared of fat I mean we've all grown up with you know keep it low fat you know and and all that kind of stuff so like products and things like that low carb high fat goes back to eating real food eating let's see for example for breakfast I would have to suffer through eggs and bacon for example um Oh, and uh, well, not today though, because to, this morning I made a oatmeal, which is not like oatmeal because it's not actually oatmeal. Here go the chia seeds again. Um, these chia seeds um, that I mixed with, uh, I put them in last night in the, in the fridge. I think it was like two tablespoons of chia seeds and I actually mixed it up. So I did two tablespoons of chia seeds one deciliter of almond milk, and then I did a deciliter of cream as well, which was really, really good. Uh, and uh, half a tablespoon of vanilla essence, and half a tablespoon of honey, and half a lime. So you just kind of mix that up together, put it in the fridge overnight, and uh, then in the morning you take it out, and the chia seeds have all gone all gelatiny-ish. So you kind of have like a chia seed pudding. And... Um, and with that, I did three tablespoons of blueberries, like any kind of berry that you want. But basically, with low carb, high fat, you're avoiding carbs. So no pasta, no potatoes, no rice, you know, the regular carby stuff. Uh, also, you kind of want to avoid vegetables that have grown underground because they tend to have more starch in them and more carbs. So anything that's grown over overground that makes sense uh, above ground <laughs> anything that's grown grown above ground um for example tomatoes uh, cucumbers broccoli awesome uh, there's so many so many things but you can look into that a little bit more uh, trying to think here which is always a challenge along with that you do not eat fruit because fruit has so much fructose in it and 
the main reason for avoiding carbs is that carbs basically that's it's sugar you know that, that's that's all carbs carbs is, is that's all carbs are anyway you get the point so we want to avoid sugar because it causes inflammation in the body causing a multitude of diseases and, and issues and, and stuff like that um, so a lot of people have issues with no bread and I know my husband when he was doing this with me for a while it, to his credit he did it for three months and was very quite happy um, but a lot of people have issues with the bread not having bread I, I don't that much I, I, I did this for almost two years full-time and was really really happy with it as a lifestyle um, the only reason I quit was because of my Crohn's and I had to do shakes and things like that that I got from the doctor and and um, that kind of threw me off everything the main thing is when you don't have bread you can do other stuff uh, another thing that I like to use would be coconut flour which is really really yummy it does taste a bit coconutty but I, I'm pretty sure I think somebody said that you can actually get the coconut flour that does not no I think that was coconut oil that doesn't taste coconutty anyway I don't really mind it's yummy coconut is one of those things along with vanilla powder that uh, not vanilla sugar to those Swedish people but vanilla powder that adds that sweetness to sort of that that illusion of sweetness um, instead of actually using sugar so this coconut coconut flour and almond flour are two of the things that I really use a lot when I bake if I do if I make a pie LCHF pies or LCHF bread because you could actually make breakfast rolls and semlor which are the cream puffs that are getting it's it's about that time of year in Sweden for cream puffs it's a tradition um, so those are some things that that I use that are really awesome when it comes to baking and anything eggs as well amazing somebody said somewhere that um, if we lived on a diet consisting only of eggs our bodies would get everything that they need vitamin and mineral wise and things like that everything except vitamin C I think you know that's, that's pretty darn good it's like a, it's such a superfood and uh, the entire thing about cholesterol being dangerous and like the not being good for your cholesterol and stuff like that is just a myth so I think it's a, a misconception that a lot of people have my coffee this morning almond milk amazing in it because I am a bit of a and especially now in the beginning my transition back into ketosis which is what happens when you do LCHF your body stops burning the carbs and using the carbs for fuel it goes over to burning fat so when I've, I've eaten the fat like I do whole like for example I don't do skim milk anymore I'll do whole milk uh, and cream and sauces like Bernays sauce and things like that bacon and avocados oh my goodness um, when my body's burnt the stuff that I, the, the fat that I've eaten it does you don't get that crash at the end of the day that you get a lot of other times when you're eating when your main resource when your main source of, of energy is carbohydrates you get when you're done with burning what you've been eating as as your energy source fat the body keeps burning the fat that you have stored in your body so that way you constant you have a constant supply of energy coming in the first week or two weeks can be difficult because your body is transitioning from re burning regular fuel that that it's used to to burning fat as its main source and that can you can be a little bit lethargic you can be a little bit um, headachey sort of, and stuff like that but um, I'm actually I th after when you when you've just sort of transitioned over into it you feel awesome because you don't have those dips you know in the afternoon when you're like oh my gosh I need a cream puff uh, <laughs> I'll still make the LCHF cream puffs which by the way are awesome I'll post a link um, to a recipe to them if anybody's interested there's a blog that is amazing called 56 kilo 
Um, it's in Swedish, 56 kilo, for anybody that is interested in finding some amazing recipes. The fun thing is that like everything that I've gotten off of that site is really super, super yummy. Um, when it comes to sweetening stuff, I, I'm, I'm horrible when it comes to sticking to the subject. My coffee. <laughs> My coffee. Um, when it comes to sweetening stuff, I use this. This is sucrin, sucrin melis, which is like a powder. It looks like powdered sugar and it kind of tastes like powdered sugar. I put this in my coffee um, it's zero calories. And the good thing with it is that it does not affect your blood sugar levels. So this is why um, LCHF has been so good for people that have diabetes and have issues with sugar, um, sugar addiction stuff like that because you cut the sugar out and after a while you just don't really need it anymore so sucrin awesome you can get it at Ica um, chia seeds love them coconut flour really really great unsweetened almond milk and as for always and this isn't actually LCHF but I, I don't really think it's that bad either for it. This is so good for for your tummy, for everything. Aloe vera. The, and this is my favorite. The berry nectar flavor is... Um, I, I really like it. Forever Living has... They have the regular aloe vera shots that you can take in the mornings. They have the berry nectar, which is my favorite. And then they have one that's supposed to taste like peach, but from what I hear, it's not great anyway so that would be my health kick for today um basically that's that's pretty much it so you can if you uh, live in sweden and you are interested in lchf just uh, you can go in there's a really really great site called kostdoktorn.se uh, there's an english version called dietdoctor.com i'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's the address. Um, and that is this guy who, he is a, a physician, he's a doctor, um, and he really promotes the health benefits of, of eating a low-carb, high-fat diet. Um, basically, it's it's a myth that fat will be bad for us. I, uh, I was talking to my dietitian because of my stomach conditions and stuff like that. And I told her, I said, you know, I've really been feeling so much, you know, I, I, I felt so much better when I was eating low-carb, high-fat. And she said, you know, we're really having to reevaluate the uh, nutrition guidelines that we give to people. Uh, so there's a lot of things happening there because a lot of people are getting so healthy eating low-carb, high-fat. Uh, it is not a cause of heart disease. It is not the, the reason that... Um, We've been afraid of, of it clogging up our fat, clogging up our veins and things like that. Yeah, trans fats are bad. Don't eat trans fats. Don't eat anything that's unnatural. Keep it clean. Keep it if you don't, you know, if it's if it's natural, all the better. If it's organic, all the better. Um, you do not want to be eating just any kind of fat. Pick good fat. Pick avocados. Pick salmon. Pick, you know whole milk, the natural stuff. Keep it, keep it clean and keep it real. Keep it real. Oh my gosh, that sounds so 90s. Anyway, really good to see you guys again and um, I'll see you again next week. <laughs>